So as you guys know, uh, DMX just uh, actually just passed. So rest in peace to our brother. I want to call him a brother in Christ. Other people are questioning his salvation when I'm like, you know what? Salvation's between them and God. I believe that he was used. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of pushback when I talk about people that are being used for God, right? Whether it's like, well, you can't be a friend of this world. If you're a friend of this world, they'll take that James verse. You're an enemy to God, which I believe. I believe that. If you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy to God. And then there's a, there's these people that are literally carnal Christians, right? Like Apostle Paul is talking to the church, church of Corinth and talking about the carnality. Does that really affect their salvation? It's between them and God, okay? I can't deny that God isn't using celebrities. God isn't using people of influence in this space for his glory, for his name's sake, for people to get drawn near to Jesus and at least have spiritual seeds planted into them, even though they didn't live the perfect holiest life and dmx is one of them <laughs> i mean the only song i really knew with dmx is like y'all go make me lose my <laughs> and i reverse that in jesus name ain't nobody gonna let me lose my mind up in here okay <laughs> that's I, I i reverse every word that is not of god in jesus name it has no power over me has no power over you okay so that's why you can't be singing these songs these little hymns that are of this world and you know, I, I it actually reminds me, and I, I kind of actually want to show you guys this video of DMX that was literally preaching the word of God just last summer, summer of 2020. He was preaching the word of God, and I thought it was amazing. I was like, man, praise God. I said, you know, God, God bless this man. God bless his heart, and God bless how the Lord is really using him. Let me just share this real quick so you guys can just uh, kind of listen, make sure the volume's up. Just a little bit, you know, we're not going to go too into it, but he was sharing God's word on Instagram live, right? I mean, we can't say nothing about this. There's a season for everything and a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth and a time for dying. A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. Woo. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying and a time for laughing. So this was just literally last summer. He was just sharing God's word. And I know y'all could probably talk about his past. And I always bring up, well, if you're going to bring up somebody's past and you're going to label them of who they are today because of their past, then you might as well just write off Apostle Paul. <laughs> you might as well just write off a bunch of the New Testament, right? Because God can use anybody no matter what your past is. I mean, if I labeled you and I judge you based on what you did in the past and all your imperfections, how would you feel? Right. That's what's so good about our God is his arms are wide open. He'll take anybody into the faith. And, you know, it kind of makes me sad. And I was I was actually listening to this song. I'm just going to only do a little bit. I don't know if like YouTube's not going to push this over, but um, I want to show you guys this because he's literally proclaiming the name of Jesus. And this was in this was launched in 2018 from DMX. And it's it's labeled Lord, give me a sign. OK, by DMX. He said, in the name of Jesus, devil, I rebuke you. <laughs> praise God. Okay, praise God for how God's going to like use situations, right? And like I said, he might not have had the holiest raps, like tons of music that was in this world, but God can just step in anytime, any day, use anybody that is willing to just surrender. And God was working on him. God is working on him, right? And I see this. Here's the thing. It, it's funny because obviously celebrities, people that have influence when they're out there, they get judged a lot. It's like they get judged a lot harsher. And it's like their sin, the same sin that somebody of one of us might have committed is like worse than the, the sin that we committed. It's like it's not. Sin is sin. Okay. So we go through it. But I really believe it's God's grace, God's mercy, God's love right? The grace of God, the love of God, the strength of God, the purification of the Lord. And I do believe, like I was saying earlier, one step in the church, one foot in the world. You can't, you really can't have that. And I, I think a lot of these celebrities, obviously a lot of them get attacked because they got a platform. The enemy really wants them to slow down whenever, you know, because well, the enemy thinks he has them for a moment. And then they're just out here going through stuff, right? I know he went through like addictions, drugs, all these other things, just like everybody, every every person does. They go through and they have issues. They have challenges. They have problems, 
Okay. And this is so amazing. And you, we, we could talk about a lot of DMX's songs, right? Like we can literally talk about a whole bunch that he's been releasing. But I believe that he started to release a lot that really glorified God. And him doing that Bible study and him making a lot more music, right? When it came to knowing the Lord, like it really opens up like a lot of people that whether they didn't like his music or the people that were like hardcore fans, they're like, yo, this dude's got a relationship with God, a relationship with Jesus. So it's another way, another opening for the Lord to have his will, have his way through people that God wants to reach for God's glory, for the for Jesus's name's sake to be lifted up. And I praise God for that, right? I'm not going to ever tear down people's ministries. The only ministry that I'll tear down is one that is not from Jesus. <laughs> Okay, like if I, if I know straight up, it's the devil, <laughs> like Satan worshipers coming out, witches, warlocks, we're destroying that in the name of Jesus. That stuff ain't going to, it ain't coming through, right? <laughs> Those ministries are done. And I don't even want to call it a ministry. I want to call it an assignment from the enemy. But clearly these are people that are broken, people that have issues, which is all of us that are literally trying to do what we can do to spread the gospel and share it in any way. And I'm not here forcing anybody to say, you got, you better preach the gospel or you're going not to heaven because that's not true. When it comes down to us not sharing the gospel, that has nothing to do with salvation, but it should be part of the transformation of us wanting to desire to do God's will. One is us to desire to, to seek God's face and do what the word of God says is the great commission. And however God's going to allow you to minister and share through your gifts, your talents, whatever he has given you, that's going to be between you and God, right? We're just here to lift each other up as the body of Christ as one. And I believe DMX did his part. And it reminds me, let me see if I, if I can find this verse. Um, Romans, Romans 7. You know when Apostle Paul was like, oh, wretched man, right? Oh, wretched man I am. And he talks about like the things that I, I, I want to do, right? I don't do. And the things that I don't do, I want to do. We're like literally battling like this between like submitting to God versus submitting to our flesh, submitting to the Lord's will versus submitting to the temptation of this world. We battle with this every day. That's why the word is so clear and so persistent about allowing us to renew our mind, allowing us to pick up the cross, to follow Jesus, allowing us to decrease so he can increase, as it says in John 3.30 and Matthew 16 with picking up the cross daily. Right. So being able to actually get to that point where we've surrendered Romans 12, one, he says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, right, by the mercies of God, that you offer yourself a what a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable and of what a reasonable service to God. So this is stuff that we have to work on daily. And even brother RC here, like I fall short. There's days where I'm like literally getting tempted. I'm literally under attack. And I can either surrender to my flesh and my desires and say, you know what? I'm going to fall into that temptation. I'm going to fall into that or I'm going to turn the other cheek and <laughs> turn the other cheek, right? Or I'm going to turn right back to Jesus and I'm going to focus on Jesus. I'm going to run this race as it says in Hebrews 12. And I'm going to I'm going to focus on him, the author, the finisher, the defender, and the perfecter of my faith. It's a battle, right? Uh, yeah, Romans 7. I think Romans 7 is so good, like just the whole thing, but I'm just going to read just a clip of it. This is Romans 7, chapter uh, 21. It says, I find then a law that evil is present with me. And this is Apostle Paul speaking, right? The one who wills to do good, for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man, right? The inward man. The Bible is clear about this in Corinthians that the inward man is being renewed day by day. So the outward man is perishing, but the inward man is being renewed day by day, right? Verse 23, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of the mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am. <laughs> this is the Apostle Paul saying it. Who will deliver me from this body of death? I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So with the mind, I myself serve what the law of God. So it's talking about the mind. And it's interesting because it talks about the law of the mind, the law of sin. So with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the, the flesh, the law of sin. And I think a lot of us go through this stuff, right? Like we're not perfect, but the one that we worship is perfect. And I have a uh, another verse here. In, it's actually still in Romans, to Romans 14, because I have so many people thinking that just because these people go to church, they're, they're like perfect. You know, like 
us Christians, we shouldn't, or, and followers of Christ, believers of Jesus, we shouldn't be thinking that we're on a pedestal above people that are lost, people that are broken, people that have issues or believe in, you know, maybe certain things that we don't agree with because biblically just doesn't align. We shouldn't be looking down onto people. And that's where Romans 14 is because, and like I said, guys, like I talk a lot right now on this channel, a lot of different celebrities, a lot of different influencers, a lot of different like news that's going out. And then I try to take it biblical and I've been getting a lot of pushback from people like, well, you know, you shouldn't be talking about these people. God is not using them. And I'm like, man, wait, wait, wait. Like, did you pray about this? Before your flesh came in, before your opinion came in, did you really pray about this? And did God show you this? We have to have an open heart and an open mind to how God's going to use anybody, right? So I see that. I see a lot of pushback with that. And that's kind of like uh, what the enemy wants to do is make us seem like we're better than people that are lost. And it, it turns off the people that are lost. Like this whole thing with like Lil Nas X, you know, we see people are like bashing him, hashtag cancel Nas X. And it's literally from people that are followers of Jesus. There You got people that are like, oh, you know, like awesome. He's being used because now Jesus is being preached to people that worship Satan and Jesus is king. And then we have the people on the totally opposite end that are like, cancel him, destroy him. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Nah. You know, it's like the flesh creeps in and, you know, God's always been so He's been softening my heart. I've, I was one of those guys that was literally at that point in one season where I'm like, you're either fully led by the Holy Spirit or you ain't, you ain't serving the kingdom. Right. And I still believe that to an extent. And there's things that we don't always understand, right. As followers of Jesus, there's things that we just don't truly fully understand. The only thing I know that I can understand and know that I can lean on is Jesus Christ. And my trust is in God, no matter what. I don't know if this guy was, you know, it, I, and I can't question his salvation. People believe that DMX is with the Lord right now. And that's what we want. We want that type of hope, right? The future and a hope. We want our hope in Jesus. We people, a lot of people believe that other people are like, nah, 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 nah. you know, so that's between him and God when it comes to down to salvation. I'm not going to go down that uh, path. But I do believe he's with the Lord. But I'm not going to, like I said, I don't question people's salvation. I'm not going to argue with people. I'm not going to argue with people in the comments or anything about people's salvation. Like it, it's not me. Okay. So let's talk about Romans 14 because I think a lot of us need to understand this. Okay. Romans 14. It says this. It says, and I'm just going to go to verse one and we'll just kind of just break it down a little bit for those of you guys that like to judge others based on whatever. Okay. It says, receive one is weak in the faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. See, I'm not going to dispute over, over doubtful things, right? For one believes he made all, eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat. And let him who does not eat judge him who eats for God has received him. Really, really cool analogy that we're seeing here, right? So just because they're weak in the faith doesn't mean we're going to judge them. We're going to push them off. We're going to condemn them to hell and, and all this stuff. Like, no, 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 that's not what we're called for. We're here to lift each other up, build each other up for, for God's glory. We want to be used as a vessel, as a mouthpiece. We want to be the hands and feet of Jesus. That's why we're called the body of Christ. What would Jesus do, right? Everyone wants to throw that around. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus, but seriously, in this case, what would Jesus do? It tells us to turn the other cheek. <laughs> Verse four, and I'm not, I'm talking about the people that have surrendered. I'm not talking about these legalistic Pharisees, heresies, people that are literally preaching people to hell type of deal. They, they have another account. Okay. That, that, that's a whole nother topic. I'm talking about people that have really tried that have issues that are dealing with challenges. People like DMX, right? Going through different uh, drugs and, and hardcore things in his life and, 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 and pushing out rap that is of this world that is so worldly. And then talking about Jesus talk, and, and, and saying in Jesus' name in his rap and, and pushing Christian rap. Yeah, I want to test. I want to discern the spirit. And that's what we're doing here. We're just testing and discerning the spirit. Verse four, who are you to judge another servant? This is for some of y'all right now. Okay, this is even for me. It's for Brother RC here. Okay, if this ain't for y'all, this is for me. Who are you to judge another servant? To his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand for God is able to make him stand. And I love, I just love this whole verse, okay? One person esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. This is good. I'm going to actually break this down later for another teaching that I want to be able to uh, share with you guys. 
But this is it, verse 10. But why do you judge your brother or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. Verse 12. So then each of us shall give account of, of himself to God. Therefore, let us not judge one another anymore, but rather resolve this, not to put a stumbling block or cause to fall in our brother's way. And people will take that one verse like, oh, well, it says not to judge, so you can't be judging. It has, it, 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 It's deeper, okay? And that's why we, we read verse to verse, right? We don't just take one verse and just throw, throw it out there and then utilize it to, to kind of get our way, okay? That's not how we do it here. We go from verse to scriptures, to chapters, to books, to testaments, to the full word of God. And that's why I tell people we got to break it down. Read 20 verses before, 20 verses after, and we're going to understand the context of the passages that people use because everyone wants to just throw a verse out there. And I'll be like, how about this verse? And then they just like knock it off and they go straight and dig it back into their one verse that they can they can come back to. That's just what I have to share. What do you guys think about DMX? What do y'all think about, you know, what he's done? You know, rest in peace. I, we're just praying for uh, for just peace upon the family. I know his manager came up and it was 24 hours ago saying, hey, he's still alive. And then there was news today that he fully passed. So God bless him. God bless the ministry that God has placed in his heart. And every seed that he has planted, I, I really pray, every seed that he has planted, everyone that heard the name of Jesus that looks up to him would actually look up to Jesus moving forward and see the fruits of his labor during the season that God used DMX on this earth in Jesus' name.